and then you'll die. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I've finally finished all of the Mayan Jungle shortcuts. So that is what we're going to be going through today. Mayan Jungle with a 4 power club. You can see here we've got the totem, 4 power, 3 accuracy and 1 guideline. And uh, I'm going to be showing you my personal opinion on the best shortcut for every single hole. So without further ado, let's jump straight on into it. Starting off with the hole in ones, we've got Crossy Road. So for this one, you just want, if you're on the right side, the right three spots, you can just max it through. It just brings you straight into the hole nice and easy. And if you're on the other sides, it's a bit harder, but you want to just max it off this left ball in the river. And often it will also bring you in for a hole in one. So smash the face. This hole, I would not recommend this route at all, but I managed to get the Tamale hole in one the other day and, uh, well, I had to put it in because look how crazy sick this shot is. That's an insane hole in one. Do a quick slow motion of that. You basically have to time it right off the wall. The guy flicks you up and in for a hole in one. But crazy hard, so I would not recommend that at all. But I thought I'd just throw that in there. So onto the hole in twos, we have jump the fence first up. This one, you just want to do a hard orange to the right side of those bricks. Brings you in front of this guy. Then you can just fire it over the root and into the hole. The one, two, pretty straightforward. Just go over the first river with about a middle to hard yellow. And then the second river can be a bit harder. Put to the left of the river so that it brings you into the hole. Next up is Pillar, the newest man jungle hole. And this one, you just want to fire it onto the pillar, a little bit left than it, you think. And it hops off here, brings you perfectly in front of the bridge, and then you just have to hit the tr tip of that triangle, and it brings you straight into the hole. So, archway, fairly straightforward, you just want to max it into the river. Brings you around and down into the little bowl, and to make the two is actually quite difficult. Or well, very difficult, but you can make it if you do a bit more than a soft orange over to the left, and you can dunk it in like that. So lonely pole, there's two different ways to go. You can either do a bit more than a soft yellow, hit the lonely pole, bounce off it, and then you go around the half pipe, and sometimes in for a hole in two. But you can miss that lonely pole, and that way you often get a hole in four. So if you want a more reliable hole in three. The way to go is off the wall down here, and you can still make a two if you do about a hard -osh orange and you have to nick that wall, but it's a lot harder to make the two, but it does guarantee you a hole in three. So, a bit of a choice that hole. Backfire, you just want to do either a hard yellow or a soft orange, depending on how far up you are. And just take the river down. And the last shot, I find a soft red's too soft, but a max is a bit too hard. So somewhere in between, a middle red works pretty well for me. So take your pick. Lots of different routes to go on this hole. If you're in the front row like this, you can just max it straight over to the far river. And it will just about bring you in every time. And then from here, you do a bit more than a soft orange. Let that brick just there, and if you can hit that brick every time, then it's a hole in two every single time. But if you're in the back row, you can't quite reach the river, so I recommend the other way to get the hole in two, which is the hard orange, over to this little pillar, uh, flap thing. It is quite hard to land in front of the flap, but if you do get there, the second shot is super easy. You just max it over, and it almost always brings you into the hole. So a couple of different routes depending on your starting position. Next up is Waterfall. This one you just want to do a soft orange over the lower brick on the right side. And it just brings you into the river. You always want to be on the right side of the river so you don't go down there. Then it's pretty easy. You just follow it through off the triangles and tap it into the hole. But if you saw the thumbnail, you can make this one in a hole in two, which I'll show you right now. And from here, what you want to do is just yellow it down onto the side perimeter here. 
and then you want to do about a hardish orange and you can actually chip the edge of that wall and very occasionally bring you in for a hole in two but it's super duper risky and I would not recommend that at all. Next up is the hole in threes. So smash the face was the super trick shot hole in one but the normal way to go you just want to hit the tip of the triangle brings you over here and then you can just fire it off that brick and I did actually manage to get straight it in for a two that way but a three is just the normal for this hole. Next up is bricks. Just want to do a middle yellow off the back wall. And then from here you can fire it down off that little pile of bricks. Rebounds you over here and you can just tap it in for an easy three. Now the second exit. This one you just do a bit more than a first and then a soft yellow. Miss the first exit, take the second exit out. And from here you want to fire it to the left of the river. Try and get as far back to the wall because from here you just max it in and it pops you perfectly into the hole for a hole in three. Bunker is one of my favorite holes. You just want to tap it in. Some people go off the back but I find occasionally it chips you over. So tap it in then you can just fire it onto the bricks and you just tap it in for an easy hole in three. Indoor golf. Yep, that's right. For some reason the whole thing's got a roof on it, but anyway, you just hit these two bricks here, and that brings you down to this side. From here, it's pretty straightforward. Just fire it over, and then tap it in for a hole in three. Hungry hippos. First one, just do a soft orange to be the first hungry hippo. Then cruise down the river. Either side's fine. I find the left side's a bit easier, but doesn't really matter. Then just another soft orange into the middle. And this shot is really annoying. You often hit the top, but sometimes it lets you go through and in for a hole in three. Dead end, also one of my favorites because the bots suck at it. You just want to fire it to the right of that bricks. And then from here, you can do a soft orange over the root. Don't do any more else you'll hit the river. And then from here is just a nice soft yellow and into the hole. And check out this sick dunk by Jacob. Clean. So this one, you just fire it to the right side. Make sure you wait for the hold the door. Then you can pop over here and the last shot it's usually about a max, it's hard to judge though, it's a bit of an odd shot, but yeah, sometimes you get the hole in three, other times not, not usually in your control. Hop, skip and a jump. Then the tile, you just hop up onto the first platform, onto the left side, because then from here it's easier to skip through the broken wall, with about a soft uh, middle orange works well, and then you can just tap it in. So for roots, there's a few starting positions where you can do a middle yellow over to this little triangle here. And if you manage to get over here, you can just fire it all the way over here and you actually get the angle where you can fire it through the river and in for a three. But not all spots will allow that, so four is pretty standard. So for slipstream, just wait sure the guy's out the way, you can fire it through. Then do a little bit to the right and you'll slide into the slipstream, down to the river. From here there's two different ways. I think the best way is just to do a bit more than a soft yellow straight into the hole. But you can also go off this brick on the right side. You max it off to the left side. But it can be quite unreliable, so I recommend the other way. Next up is accuracy. Just wait for the flap, do a soft orange up. And then this shot, you really do have to be accurate. Super hard to judge. Around about a soft to middle yellow, but you'll figure it out. And if you do get there, you just fire it over and occasionally in for a hole in three. So the last few holes, hole in fours. 
starting off with platform hopping. So if you're in the middle, the main route's to go. Just about a middle yellow, you want to try and get up on this ramp. Because then you can flick it over the side of the archway. Don't try the middle, you have to go the side. And then from here you can just fire it straight over and tap it in for an easy hold and fall. But there is a way to get a hold in three. You can do a hold three going that way very occasionally, but the easier way to get a hole in three is to yellow it along these bricks, the perimeter, and particularly on that little angled one. And from here it always gives you a huge flick. You can see it flies you down here. And then you can get it in for a hole in three, but you often miss the first shot, so a bit of a risk you take, but a hole in three is possible. Next up is white water rafting. You just want to fire it over the bridge. You can very, very occasionally make a three going over around the half pipe, but I find it super unreliable. It often flicks you out the map, and the three is almost never going to happen. So it's better to just cruise down the rapids, white water rafting, and then tap it into the hole. And the last hole is water tongue. This one you just want to do about a hard orange past the guy with that watery tongue flowing down. Then you can just fire it over in front of this root. And from here, just fire it onto the boulder. And the last shot, if you're reasonably close up with a 4 power, you just bang it off that back triangle and it brings you in the hole quite often. Nice little shortcut there. So there we go, guys. That is every single hole with a 4 power club. In my opinion, the best shortcut for each one. Hopefully, this video helped you out. If it did, make sure to like and subscribe, helps the channel. Otherwise, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.